home. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a mom's tape with uh, my <laughs> with my mother here. Um, this was supposed to be a different video than it is right now, but my mom did not want to do basically any of the other concepts that I had. So, you know, we had a diva on the set. But we found something that we can agree on ish, and that is mom takes. This might sound familiar to a hot take. It is. But it's my mom's perspectives on things that my friends have sent to me through the social medias uh, to respond to. Before we get into the mom takes, but I'm bump her, we're gonna get into some of this food that we have. Did not, okay, there's a spoon here, so I guess that's good enough. But clearly we have some seafood. Then with some of my grandmother, like, you know, staging is hard these days. So I'm just gonna show y'all with some banana pudding. Ooh, well, does that hurt? Okay. Ugh. I'm gonna put that there. But, yeah mom, let's get into it. So, you've eaten this before? I have. You've had this? I have not had this, but I've eaten at this establishment before. And it's good? I think so. This is my first time eating here, so we gonna find out. Mom, why are you not putting things on your plate? Um, I just was waiting for the creator to give me the go-ahead. You? <laughs> you have the go-ahead. All right, thank you. Corn. These shrimps still have their eyes on here. Hi, shrimp. How are you? Mom, how are you feeling about answering questions from my friends? Um, I'm a little nervous because my mama's in the house. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. But she tells me I have to be my authentic self, so I'm going to keep it authentic. The deals are good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to keep it honest. And my reaction to whatever my mom will say, we'll be honest. You wanna get some rice noodles? I do want some noodles. Here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, mom, um, the first hot take of, or sorry, my bad, mom take of the day, we're gonna start you in easy, okay? It ready? Oh, I don't have a napkin. Mom, the napkins are literally ready. Right oh, here. okay. Let's get a napkin. Okay. So, ready? I'm ready. First mom take is the following Is a hot dog a sandwich? I believe it is a sandwich. Mom, why is a hot dog a sandwich? Because it is in between the sliced, the split part of the bun. Fold the bun. So then why don't sandwich bots serve hot dogs? Mm, I don't know. Like it's on them. I mean, I just think it's a sandwich. You ask me if I think it's a sandwich and I'm think I'm telling you it's this I think it's a sandwich. So because it's in between meat, it's a sandwich? Okay. So a hot dog is a sandwich. A pita pocket is a sandwich. And if those two things are a sandwich, it's a taco. A sandwich. Uh, that's a good one. Carly, it was a good one. Um, I guess it would have to be a sandwich. But why you guess? It's like either it is. Like, yeah. what is your metric? What is your system? I guess you have to get out of the conventional way of thinking that a sandwich has to be between two slices of bread. You gotta elevate your mind. Right. Oh my. Elevation. Elevation. Then a taco would be a sandwich. 
soup is really good. It is good. These mm -hmm. are really good. This is really good. We're elevated. The next question, before we even get into that, mm -hmm. let's talk about celebrity crushes. It's oh. gonna be a mom take. Oh no. If you had to, first, it has to be Will Smith, Idris Elba, and what's that dude's name from Queen Sugar? Oh. You know who I'm talking about? I know. The, what's his name? Oh. Mom. Okay. There's a thing that young people call a certain game. But I'm not gonna call it that game here. I'ma call it have a soiree with oh my. Mary and Kill. Oh my gosh. And you have to explain Ugh. why. Okay, first off, let me say this. <laughs> I'm not down for killing any of my new games. Okay. Mm. Any. But the spirit of the game where you have to Mom, just say this. They stole money from you. They said bad things about I don't know, something that'll make you go fifty one fifty. Come on. Are you seeing this? Wait. Come on. Mary Idris, clearly. A little hashtag of this. This is been a long running thing. My mom would tell me, we're watching movies with him in it, or even with him not in it. It's like Daddy's Little Girl was in that. Yes, we mm, Yes, we was in that one. He was really good in that one. <laughs> okay. We would watch that, and I was like, Mom, so are you saying that if he knocks on our door right now, it's by mom? This is hello. Mind you, we're all in high school. Like, I'm in high school. My siblings are all younger than me. She's like, bye. Good day. <laughs> but you are over the age of 13. Oh, okay. That's that's what changes it. But yeah, so you would marry Idris. Mm hmm. Okay. You got to have a soiree with. Yes. And you have to you have to kill these other two. No, the other one. You know what I'm saying? Soiree and kill the left two categories. Oh, gotcha. Mm, soiree with Queen Sugar, clearly. Oh, Mom, Will? How come you don't want me, man? You want to kill Will? So judgment, right? You asked me the question. I'm answering. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh my. Next. I still can't wonder about your decision making process. One of my friends was no mom. Why are boys dumb? And let me make it in a particular context. Like, I have a son, so okay, you mom. Know. What would you tell me, you eat, mom? You still tell you still. I know. I get fake it. Fake content. I know. I get it. I get it. Other sons. I get it. <laughs> Other ones, not you know, David Perfect, right? Saint. Why are they? Mm-hmm. Slash. Do they get better with age? They do. Okay, but help us out. What do you want? They get better with age. I just so think for, for the us first... 20, 20, like 20 year olds during you, during your time too. Like <clears throat> not really during, you know your perspective on why are they? Mm -hmm. Why? I just think that they don't think. They think in the moment. They think immediate. What can how can I immediately solve a problem? <clears throat> Whereas I think women, we think long term. <clears throat> so when do you when do you think is the right time to start dating? 
Well, I always told you kids, uh, 16. 16, never have dated it yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, okay, I'm we're keeping it PG, right? What's the PG? You've never dated? No. Mom, date? <gasps> Also, why is she wearing sunglasses inside? Because I can. Why? Because I can. Because clearly shade is being. Mom, that was your me. shade to me. Oh my I'm gosh. not giving. Mom, I said date. I've not dated anybody. And then you said, oh, so dating? Oh, why would I disclose that? In front of my. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's not dating, though. So. Mom, that's, this is mom tapes. Hmm. Mom. Really, just is into me, or is he just into me? You know what I'm saying? Into <clears throat> right. Me. Oh my god, this is really way too much. <laughs> way too much. But what about when they get older? What is the age? When do like guys hit that age? When is it like? Mm -hmm. They have ascended to that higher level of thinking that we were talking about earlier. I would say probably mid thirties. Mid thirties, mom. Mm -hmm. So, would you suggest to twenty-year-olds to date mid thirty-year-olds? Would you suggest to me? Mm -hmm. I am of age. You are of age. I probably would say. Yes to it. But to make sure that you are doing proper vetting. We only vet here, Mom. Okay, that's what I would say. Okay. What about 50? No, no. No, no. So then, how do you about sugar daddies? Mom, I'm in the business. Or I'm in the business of finding one. No, I just think it's extra. You get law school paid for. Extra business. That's extra business. Oh. Uh, all I gotta do is shake a hand. I'm like, hello, sir. How's your day? How's 55? Oh, it's bad? Oh, that sucks. I'm 22. <laughs> so you coming from my boyfriend? We got problems. <laughs> We got problems. Is he 55? He's not, but he's in I mean, 50. Okay. I don't know why that translated to me coming from your boyfriend. Yeah, I just say it. That's just, no. Shouldn't be. Because I think at that point. With the heart wants, with the heart wants, mom. The heart can. <laughs> These pockets want what the pockets want, mom. Mm, mm, I just think it's too. We just saw Hustler. Did we not? Mm -hmm. And what they say? Everybody's hustling. Yeah. Everybody's hustling. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> so. I just don't. Uh, I just don't think she. Auntie said that. she would. She proves. Auntie said she would help me. Find a fifty-year-old or older. It's about Mikey money moves, mom. Money <laughs> moves. I'm like, mom, meet, meet Sylvester. He's 75. I'm like, Papa. <laughs> oh meet the same. <clears throat> but you don't meet sugar daddies unless like they get really involved and like want to help take care of your family too. Yeah, see, that's it. And then I'm thinking, so. The, the point of a sugar daddy is just to take care of, not to like family and all that stuff, right? What do you mean? The end result is not marriage. I mean, some people do end up marrying the sugar daddies. Can't be using a 50 year old semen, sorry. Nope. No. Nope. Mom. Nope. 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 Mom. Nope. 
First of all, the end goal of all marriages is not to have kids. I mean, I know, but I'm just saying, I want, I would like to have a grandchild at some point in life. Hmm. Men's semen lasts their entire life and it's fine. It's just how much they have. It's not like defunct semen. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. And if he dies, I'm still alive. I'm young. And I got money. Now, it may sound. What about the song? She took my money. Oh, gold digger. Yeah. When That's I'm exactly, me. <laughs> That's exactly oh, what that is. Try playing. <laughs> Friend in need. Yep. Oh, she's a gold digger. <laughs> Way out of town. That digs on me. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a gold digger. However, mother. She ain't rolling with no growth later. No. Yeah, I get it. None. I don't know. And the hustle and grind still exists, even with that. It's about propelling your. But like, but it's also consensual boundaries. Like, you enter in knowing what it is. It's not like a. Right. Nobody knows what's going on here. And that's ex that's important, I, I guess. But I don't know. I just would rather you date somewhere near your age. Tomato ketchup. or ketchup? Ketchup, honey. What did the ketchup say to the mustard? Why are you all in the mustard trying to catch up? That's crazy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say that's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. My, the must heard, like the must heard, mm -hmm, what must heard. the gossip, the skinny, oh, okay. trying to catch up. Now do you get it? Got it. That's a dad joke. Dad said that. Dad also um, said, tell it to the one-legged man. Yeah. And what, mom? And tell him to bump it down the road. To bump? Mom, what does that mean? It's from a movie. <laughs> what is that? Lucky Number Slevin, which was a really good movie. That's from a movie, actually? Yeah, I thought Dad was just saying stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually a really good movie. Would you ever want to go back to your 20s? Mm, I had fun in my 20s. Absolutely. So you would want to go back? I would do it. I would revisit my 20s. Like 20 on the dot 20? Or like 25? Yeah, I put this 20 on the dot 20. I was at Howard. It was wonderful. Oh. Are you uh, HBCU or PWI? Mm -hmm. It was PWI. Primarily white institution? Um, well, clearly HBCU. Mm. Clearly. Would you prefer that I go to uh, HBCU law school? I really would. But I just finished school. Uh, yes, you did. Great. But, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not even gonna focus in on what this says. This is the school that I went to. Trash. I'm kidding. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god! I mean, but I'm not really kidding. <laughs> I'm just Dude. saying I'm kidding. Pretty films that I hurt, but I said what I said. Oh, you Mom, did straight. I not say what I said? Yes. Hot take. What are your thoughts on cannabis slash marijuana? I mean, I, it grows from the earth. Mm -hmm. God created it. Mm -hmm. It's used for medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a problem with it. How I do you feel? I have a problem with oh. this abuse. It's abuse? What do you yeah. mean? Just, just smoke it to be smoking. Just, just smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. Mental health is so very overlooked in this country, right? We got California is starting this whole law thing of People who are put in jail for marijuana use mm -hmm. are being not freed, or that 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 record is being expunged. But like, still, you know, looking at the environment where years, not even years ago, literally a few years ago, people would go to prison mm -hmm. for those same uses. But now it's a big market in a lot of places, and on top of that, a lot of those places aren't even owned by black people. Right. What are your thoughts on all this? Because remember you went to, you went with me and Brittany that one time. Yeah. Um, 
I just have issues with it. I have issues. You're my I, just, I, I, I really, I mean, they should all be free. I mean, clearly. And the other part of it is they infringed on their business. You know what I'm saying? So they could be sitting on pockets and pockets and pockets of money, but they were incarcerated for possessing like what half an ounce or sometimes not a even a dime that. bag. That's ridiculous. I thought we wouldn't be as bad as much longer as we are. Yeah, this is not. And you know, to be fair, um, I probably will do a, a never have I ever thing, but you know, we're at my mom's house, so. We gotta keep I, our tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gotta keep our tea cold, not hot. Right. Right. Even though my mom earlier about the whole dating. Yeah. Inside. What? I, what? I, what I say? Uh, we haven't dated. I haven't dated anybody, and then you were like, "Let me get my mom her food." <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag free Jasmine from Uber. Free Jasmine from the Uber band. Can't believe you said that, but you know, story time. What are your thoughts? Favorite daughter. Come on. Oh, mom, this should not take you several seconds to think about. I have no favorite daughter. I love all my children. Mark, thank you for the political but response. But you know what? Huh? That first daughter oh. caused me a lot of grief coming out. Of your womb? Yes. <laughs> yes. At least I came out. I was in a C-section like everybody else. Where's your mom? Can your mom come to the bar? Can your mom come to the club? Can your mom go to the movies? Can your mom? I'm like, what about Jasmine? <laughs> Jasmine. What about me? Jasmine. What about my life? But that's not a concern for them. It's my mom. So I thought, you know what? Let me exploit on that. Let me exploit on her good energy and vibes and bring her to the camera in her shade. My locks look okay. Yes, mom. Your locks look fine. So, this was a good time. These were mom, mom, or these were mom takes. Mom takes, woo. And don't forget to what mom? What do they say on the YouTube videos at the end? I don't know. Hmm, we didn't prepare this. Um, oh, to subscribe. There we go, yes. and and like. And what else do you do on a video? You come Oh, and comment. Yes. And you hit that notification bell for future videos because I'm definitely gonna try to do two videos a week. Now that's difficult because I'm a kind of person that when I say I'll write a letter to somebody, they get it a year later. But it happens. I'm not gonna do the a year video department. You know your hashtag. What's my hashtag? Oh, yeah, mom. But they don't know the hashtag. But my hashtag is mogul in the making. And so, clearly, 11 subscribers, we out here. We gonna do it. But I'm a mogul in other parts of life too. YouTube is just one of those things that I'm trying to develop. But thanks, mom, for coming to the mukbang and doing the mom takes. We might do a part two, part three, and when we might with different things, right? Not just mukbangs, but like other things. But thanks for coming to my channel, and see you next time. Yay. <laughs>
don't know why that. Die, <laughs> Grandma. 